Welcome back to our YouTube channel, Living on Land and Prayer. Today, our next adventure, we're going to be talking about beekeeping. What you see right here behind me are hive nucleuses or nukes. We're going to be transferring those into bee boxes. Those actually aren't my bee boxes. Those are my buddy Jim's because I forgot to videotape me transferring our bee boxes and Jim's get me all squared away with beehive, with beekeeping. We've been super excited for a long time to get started with beekeeping. We built these boxes a few weeks ago, stained them, and coated them with multiple layers of polyurethane. These are just the brooding boxes, and each contains its own queen. These are what the boxes will look like in about two weeks when we add the honey boxes on top of the brooding box. Now let's get to what you all came here for, to see the bees. These nukes came from a local bee farm. These frames contain thousands of bees along with a single queen. Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> There's yeah, your so. queen right there. Oh, green. That, that green? Yours is blue. I know. That seems odd. Yours is green. Hmm. Oh, there's a queen. It's hard to see, but on the right-hand side of your screen, you'll see the queen with a green dot indicating she's the boss. Time to tuck her away where her hive can begin tending to her every need. Each hive box contains 10 frames. The brooding box is where the queen will lay the eggs and the bees live. The honey box up top will contain 10 frames of golden goodness. The inserts in these frames are artificial. If they were produced by the bees naturally, they would produce these perfectly geometric shapes. It truly is amazing and a wonder of nature. When full, each of these frames will yield up to four pounds of honey, or a total of about 40 pounds per box. These four boxes can produce up to 160 pounds of honey. And with two primary production seasons in Florida, that's a lot of honey. There are a few tools you'll need for beekeeping. The first is a smoker, and the other primary tool is a hive tool. It looks like a small pry bar that will help loosen the frames when extracting them from the boxes. Now let's get back outside where all the fun is. This hive here was dormant and neglected for a little bit, so the bees are gonna be a little bit more agitated. A little bit. A lot more. For the last two years. <laughs> They're a little bit more wild. They're not quite as tame and calm. The smoke helps calm them. The smoker works great, stuffed with pine needles and a few leaves. You may be wondering why beekeepers use smoke when tending their hives. The smoke helps mask the pheromones that the bees put out that signal alarm or danger. Let's leave Jim to his work and get back to our boxes. Like any living being, nutrition is critical to the health and survival of the bees. When developing new hives, or at certain times when pollen production is limited, alternative feeding sources are necessary. Eli, what do we need to do? We're going to feed our new bee sugar water. Easton snuck up and captured me feeding the bees a sugar solution that will help sustain the hive and help it develop over the next two weeks. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, those are shorts and flip-flops. Thank you guys so much for watching our YouTube channel, Living on Land and Prayer. 
Stay tuned for more updates on beekeeping. Bye! Bye.